without whole child, it would just feel like we're just here to learn and I'm sorry if you're sad, but get over it and we're gonna move on. You know, it would just feel very cold and disconnected. Whole child, it looks like a lot of things. Some things are like daily, every day, like built in, like greeting at the door, the warm greetings, the morning circle time, the uh, regulation station that's always available to them. And then there's other things that I include that aren't necessarily every day, things like uh, relationship building games. It also includes creating that safe space for them so that they know that they can come to me or any of the other staff members um, for any support that they need. I'm in the green zone because it's Wednesday, so there's light star and I'm happy to be at school today. And so the more tools and programs and routines that we have in place for a whole child, the better I can access and represent and support every student in every way in my classroom. And that's why like equity and cultural responsive teaching and all of those things are also like very important to me so that what we're learning, how I respond, how I'm setting expectations and being inclusive, um, is connected to who my students are in every way. I mean, I, I mean, I... The whole child is best for kids because it just seems obvious to me, honestly. It's giving them the tools that they can use their whole life.